Hi guys, so most of you who watch my channel are probably Archonix fans and yes, I run Archonix and I, I enjoy, you know, running free like, like OJ, uh, you know, having a free operating system, being in control. So I guess I've had sort of like people give me some feedback saying that, so why am I like an AWS hero and, you know, some of my videos are pimping a proprietary platform which sort of locks you in and it was uh, just yesterday when my colleague Sebastian love you man uh, was saying to me that like oh if I'm using lambda for serverless if I'm sort of you know arguing or what do you call it promoting serverless then I'm promoting uh, lock into the AWS platform you know I admit I've drunk the AWS Kool-Aid now but I'm I, I'm making this video to point out that Serverless is AWS uh, um, independent. You know, the idea of running um, a simple piece of code that just does that, you know, it kind of follows the Unix philosophy, which I'm, you know, I'm a huge fan of. Do that one, one thing, one thing well, um, you know, leverage the, the web RESTful API in, in, and deploy that function. So, for example, I mean, this is... a a good example of getting of a very simple uh, serverless function it uses the standard request and response model and I'm deploying it with like how do I deploy that with apex up and I and that that's put into a lambda on AWS and in front of it is the API gateway and and then when I do request with it it's anyway. It's it's on AWS. It's hosted really well, and I like its reliability and, and its elasticity. And the product is great. But the the important thing is, is that I'm not locked into AWS. I kid you not. It is trivial for me to get this running on um, a Docker a, um, in a Docker container. Um, I do believe I haven't tested that. Like you know, Azure and Google have their own way of deploying the same sort of code to to their uh, hosting platforms so so when i sort of when i when i um, encourage you guys with my aws videos to try serverless just bear in mind that i i very much have lock in in mind and i try to advocate for solutions which would make it possible to move to another hosting provider or host it yourself where it doesn't lambda Okay, so there's this lambda. There's a lambda with the API gateway. You know, RESTful web, HTTP standard way of accessing and going around with it. But then there's that lambda where, where you're triggering from like an S3 event where something gets stored on S3, or you're triggering from maybe an incoming email with SES, or you're triggering with SNS. For example, I must concede, my I I am guilty of using SNS all over the place because I find it. Uh, with, with SNS, it's pretty much like a JSON message that's used to invent a Lambda. And I like it because uh, unlike a webhook, which it's synology synologist to me, um, I can easily subscribe to it. So I can I can have a good idea when I'm debugging my, my programs, I can get like the message payload and see, okay, now this function has this message payload and this. So with a webhook, then you would have the right extra logic to sort of like send the payload or, 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 lo or log it and, and anyway what I'm trying to say is is that if you use serverless with with a restful interface um, I believe I can run it on any platform I can run it myself and obviously I do sometimes use lambda like for example in unity we use um, we, we use a very tricky uh, AWS only feature for example, AWS Aurora, MySQL compatible, but they add features like, like when a, a row is written to a table, you can event from that and then trigger some other thing. And, and, and to be honest, at Unity, we've sort of used, leveraged that sort of functionality to be able to send notifications to people when, uh, when a certain thing has changed. It's easy to do it, but it has resulted that we're sort of locked in to that particular we're locked into, you know, there's no way we can 
realistically migrate away from AWS because of that that one feature to generate notifications. But if we if we decided that like tomorrow we're moving to Google, yes, we can move it, but we would have to drop the notification feature. You know, is is notification a big feature? It's hard to say, but we we could also implement it in another way. Is what I'm trying to say. So. So for people like Sebastian, for, for open source people like Sebastian and myself, actually, I very much have freedom at the very top of my mind. And if anyone has tips about running on other platforms or stuff like that, you know, from, from AWS, I'm all ears, actually. This, this is something I'm, I'm always keen to learn more about. But the way I, I feel comfortable in my usage of AWS that I can... I, I know the pitfalls, you know, I'm not stupid. And I know I can move it to other things. And it's fair to say that Unity, um, if you look through the, the poorly documented stuff, please raise issues, it's an open source project, but you can get the whole system running locally. All my lambdas, you can just, you know, docker pull them and things like that. That's, that's how I, I done it. Or you can actually just run the, you know, go get and run the binary. So I hope that answers your question, Sebastian. Two different types of lambdas, okay? You get the ones with the API gateway, the rest of the interface. Those are the good ones. That's the one I primarily use. And you get the ones that are sort of eventing from AWS events. We use them too, but we can live without them. Um, so I hope you got that, guys. Two different sorts of lambdas, right? Use the rest of the interface one, the web one, or have a way to move to the web one. <laughs> And the Lambda ones that would, which event off all these different AWS only events, okay, they're great, but you realize that's, that's, that's vendor lock-in, that's platform lock-in. Okay, that's all I wanted to say. Thanks for watching as usual. Please like the video, please subscribe for more. And yeah, I need to do more ArchLinux videos, don't I? Oh, but I'm just knee deep in work lately. So uh, AWS stuff, I'm happy to share my knowledge. Thank you, bye.